Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that was all about circumference. Now let us focus on area of a circle. How do we calculate the area of a circle? So let's say you have this circle and you have to find out the total region that is enclosed within the circle. So basically you will have to find out the total region or the total area of this yellow region. So what should be our approach to calculate the area of a circle? Now let's do this. Let's divide this circle into eight equal parts or eight equal sectors like how you uh, cut slices out of a pizza. So if you have a pizza like this and then you cut eight slices out of that pizza. So we are doing the same thing here. So you divide a circle into eight equal sectors. Now please make sure that each of this part is equal to the other. Now you cut this part separately. So you have cut them to get sectors like this. So you have a total of eight pieces. Okay. Now what you do is you arrange these eight pieces to form a parallelogram like this, like how you see here. So you have arranged one, two, three, four, four pieces like this and you have arranged four pieces in this fashion such that, you know, they, uh, stick I mean this get stacked into each other and that is how they form a parallelogram so you see you look at the outline so you see that this is a parallelogram so now basically we wanted to find the area of this circle that means the total area of this eight sectors so here also the area would be the same basically the area of this parallelogram will be equal to the area of this circle because this circle is also made up of those eight sectors this parallelogram is also made up of those eight sectors it is just that the way they are arranged is different you agree with me okay now we have already learned about the area of a parallelogram so how do we find out the area of a parallelogram so area of a parallelogram is given by base into height. So in this case, what is the base? So when you look at it, this length is the base. So the base is actually formed by how many pieces? So base is formed by, this is the base and this base is formed by the boundary of four pieces because you see one, two, three, four. So these are the four pieces which contribute to the base. Now let us look at these pieces in this circle. So four pieces like this and their boundaries. So these boundaries. So how many boundaries like this? One, two, three and four. So four such boundaries together form the base of this parallelogram. So you agree to me, right? Because here you see, these are the four sectors and the base of these four sectors together make the base of the parallelogram. So basically, the, the these boundaries of the four sectors make the base of the parallelogram. So what would be this much boundary? So in the previous slide itself, we learned that the total length of the boundary of a circle is how much? The total length of the boundary is 2 pi r, right? So here it is into 8 pieces. So half of that would be how much? Because we want it only for four pieces. The boundary only for four pieces would be 2 pi r divided by 2. So the base will actually be 2 pi r divided by 2. That's because we want only the boundary of the four pieces. So which is half of the total boundary of the circle. So half of the total boundary is 2 pi r. So this is our base multiplied by height. So what is the height of this parallelogram? This would be the height. So when you look at this parallelogram, something like this would be the height. Right? Or you can say this would be the height of the parallelogram. Uh, a line which is drawn perpendicular on the base from the opposite vertex. So if we say this is A, B, C and D. Then BC would be the height, uh, BD would be the height for this parallelogram if, or let's say this is F. So BF would be the height for the parallelogram. Now what is BF? So BF is this line. So what is this line in this diagram? So think of any, uh, any sector like this. So that line is basically this line. So the line BF which has been drawn is basically this line. And what is this line in the circle? 
this line is nothing but radius. So the height would be nothing but radius. So here 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So you are left with pi into r into r which is pi r square. Therefore we can say area of a circle is equal to pi r square. Now this is interesting and this is also important to understand this because most of the time what happens you know children just memorize the formula of area they just memorize the formula of circumference but you should know why do why is pi r square the area of a circle so this is how we actually arrive at this result right what we did let, let's have a quick recap. What we did was we divided the circle into eight equal sectors. Now we arranged those eight equal pieces to form a parallelogram. Now area of the parallelogram was base into height. So base of this parallelogram was nothing but the circumference of half of the circle. And the height of this parallelogram was nothing but the radius of the circle. So with that we arrived at area of a circle equals to pi r squared. So now we now that we have understood how to find out area and circumference, we can try to apply area and circumference concepts to some real life problems. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.